Now we're on the other side of the bowls. You've seen how we did the long turn and radius the nose. This is the short turn side of the intake and the exhaust. <clears throat> Before I even begin to do the valve job, like I said, a serious amount of meat has to be taken out or I'm going to tear my stones all to pieces. This, each one of these ports are different on the head. This one's more laid back in the beginning and this one has more of a straight approach because it's more of a straight port where this one is the hook port. But all of the exhaust have a considerable amount. Like I said, we're using an old butcher hog here to go in there and just tear it absolutely to pieces. It just does the best job of that there is. I'm going to let you see how I use the belly right here, not really the edges, to bring the sharp point down and then roll it into place and it just saves a tremendous amount of time when you use it that way because that's just a raw material removing some of a gun. Okay. All right, pulling that short turn back, getting it ready, we're going to lay right on the edge right here, right where the, the turn is, where the sharp point of the cutter from the factory, and just dig that. Then we're going to pull it down some, back and forth. Then you see I just went on top and tried to bring that ridge out. Now I'm going to start pulling it down because I got to get it all the way at least up near the 45. Back up on top. Back down here on the bottom. Now I'm going to cut in on the angle some to start getting rid of some of that meat. Then the test. Perfect roll right there. Now on the exhaust side, we really got to take a chunk out of it for that big old 188 valve. So let's see if we can zoom in a little bit more. Let me get you a better angle. All right, I'm going to start at the belly and try to work my way around. There's my sharp ridge, same as the intake. Let's start leveling on it with just the belly part of the burr. And taking slow with a, with a medium to hard pressure. Then a quick swoop. I might add that when comparing this from the small block to the big block as far as cutting time, the big blocks take about 20% longer than a set of small blocks on the same stage level because there's just so much more port. The cross-sectional area is so much more that the walls are taller, the bowls are bigger, and you find yourself working twice as hard on one of these as you will a small block because there's just so much more port to cut out. Pro a lot of you probably already know that, but those of you that have never took one of these ovals to a humongous bowls like what these are going to have for the valves, it's a lot of heavy metal removal. Let me see if I can get you more of a straight in shot now. I'm going to pull you in. Look at the amount of bowl. Um, it's just a chunk of metal. I'd say probably right there in the bowls around 12 cc's in this raw cut form and that's before the valve job on the intake and the exhaust now it ain't nothing to laugh about either. Quite a bit comes out of it. So just giving you a look there that's where I'm at getting ready now once I do this side I'll do the short turn and um, 
then it'll be set up to do the valve job. But there we go. Them bows are looking too fine, buddy. Notice how you can't see no radius at all, no fillet up here. It's just right off the seat and straight back. All right. Here we are on uh, the entrance side and a couple comments here. This, to my knowledge, is the biggest oval port gasket that you can buy for the oval port head. This is the Mr. Gasket 5827. It's got about a hundred thousandths taller roof, a little bit width, and you know normally I wouldn't have went this route with the head. It's a tremendous amount of work. I mean there's no doubt that with the valve sides that really what it needs is it's just uh, boy it's some heavy metal to take out but the, the, the situation here was it was a necessary deal. Uh, the customer who owns these heads, uh, which by the way, he serves for our country, he's in Afghanistan, uh, he, had, he had these heads and apparently before he got in a hold of them, somebody tried to go in there and play cylinder head porter. When they did, they took so much meat out, as you can see, we're in that situation, like on the, the TBI heads and a couple of other ones I've showed you. Look, they're right there. Now, I've got plenty of meat here and on the bottom, but somebody went in there right here and butchered it. And I mean to tell you, this gasket has just barely, by the skin of its teeth, gave me enough room to go in there and straighten this mess out but it took the biggest oval gasket there was to go in here and do it now you can see where i'm following and all of a sudden boom it just falls off it's right there at it it's it's not dramatic and um on these gaskets like fell pros what you do is you scribe to the inside line of this gasket of course then when you do that and you do the manifold, what you would do is then take your Dremel tool and just touch it and pull it to the silicone bead pretty close so that way you don't have overhang in the head when you're bolting it on. But I just wanted to show you, this is where somebody, they went in there and they chopped a bunch out of, out of the side and a little bit on the roof. But this gasket pretty much allowed me to go in there and straighten it out. Uh, it was pretty rough, actually. Uh, very rough carbide cutter marks, and, and that's usually what you get. But hope, thankfully, this gasket was able to go in there and straighten out most of it. I'm going to give you a shot in a minute of uh, what it looks like. Gasket off, but let me get you up close here so you can get this. All right, you see how... Uh, right here and here's plenty of meat there should be this much material over here and it's just right in line I mean they just uh, chopped here and they, and they scribbled here and scribbled here but they really chopped here trying to work on it if uh, you tried to lay the Felpro uh, blue stripe gasket on here for the oval port it swallows it uh, there's no way that would have worked so once again, I just wanted to touch base with you on that little deal right there and let you see. But thank goodness Mr. Gasket had a giant oval that I was able to make this work. It's a tremendous amount of work for me, but hell, I could use it with a 2-250 valve. And that guy that belongs this, he's, um, he's an Army guy over in Afghanistan. He deserves more. I have no problem giving them guys extra you army guys go over there and lay your lives down for us so whenever i get one of y'all customers I, I try to go out of my way to give y'all kinds of extra goodies because without you i couldn't sleep at night all right anyway just want to back off a little bit and wanted to show you that i'll take, let you take a look at it after i take the gasket off and get it all scribed in you'll see it's a whopper bunch of meat with the gasket removed, it's pretty easy to see. See, I've got a line right here, barely touching it, where they went in there and wasn't paying attention grind, but right here, look at the gap from right there to right there. But it's just right there on it. I mean, I'm going to smooth it, and it shouldn't be a problem because if you, like I said, you go in there and remove the gasket material close a little bit to the 
um, to the line, it, it, it's going to be okay. But I mean, it just barely cleared it by the skin of the teeth. Now let's look at the other side. This is the other side. See, look at the same position. Uh, this right here tells you, to me, when I look at this stuff, it was probably a left-handed cylinder head porter because they tend to put more pressure on here. A right-handed cylinder head porter tends to put more pressure over here. So the pro person that probably done this was left-handed. <laughs> it's a little game of mine. I try to put the, the mystery together. But anyway, you can see the line, then pow, the break right there, the pow, the break right there. This one right here, it pretty much got it all the way around, but no problems. It will all balance out and come out fine. Just a little bit more work for old head bites here. So anyway, just wanted to give you that heads up, take a look at it. Now I'm going to go ahead and begin to sign my trench and we're still using this tool at this point because it's so much fillet radius to turn it into a baby rectangle is what I'm doing. I'll be starting here and pulling it out and actually trenching with this and then the raw material. I'll be spending quite a few hours straightening this hole up and then we got a big obstacle on two of the ports and the heads which is this port right here and then uh, the other port on over there, it's, it's got a big lump that I got to straighten out to try to balance the runners out. All right, that's all for now.